Roma. Stop that shit. All right, stop. Stop that stop shit. Stop the thousand. Let's get it. That's it. Oh, shit. 336. 336. Get my money, bro. Get my thousand dollars. Get my thousand dollars. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. We did it all. Guns, drugs, checks, making a hundred grand every month. Cause on the streets, I look at it like this. Either you all in or you not. We're not working nine to five. We gangsters. We take shit. My name is Robert Wilmot, born and raised in Liberia. In 1992, when the war came, it was crazy, 24 hour shooting. 14 years straight, they destroyed the whole country. So thankfully, my mother brought the whole family to the great United States, and we left all that behind. My mother had five kids. She didn't have no job. I had to help her. I don't want to be in no gang, but I need to provide. If I go to jail, I'ma pay my bill. Ain't got no time to get my weight up. Five hundred, we got time to get paid, baby. But my mom didn't want me around because she knew exactly what I was doing on the block. So now that pushed me further into the streets. I don't have no place to go. I got to die. We walking around strapped up. Whatever party we go to, we shutting shit down. We bosses. So we're in the crib rolling dice. All of a sudden, the feds have cracked down the door. They said they have a warrant. But my right hand man give me up. Hello? Stop crying, ma. Okay, all right. I'm okay, I'm okay. Everything gonna be all right. I had to do three years and a half. Hey, yo, see out! Hey, yo, see out! They put me in the cell, 23 hour lockdown. No commissary, no daylight, no visit. All you see is darkness. It was like a nightmare, man. It was at that point when I was sitting in that cell and I said to myself, this is not the life that I want. This is not the journey that God has for me. Either I was going to go away, or I was going to be dead. Mentally, I was strong. I would train three to four times a day. All I did was keep pushing, because I know that clock is ticking. This is not permanent. This is not my home. I'm going to make it through this. Strengthen me, give me the power, give me the knowledge, give me the understanding, give me the wisdom to keep moving forward, the Father God. I thank you for you giving my family back, the Father God. I believe in God. My son is not a bad kid. Man left me because of my children, because of my son. I say, go. God will make a way. My children and I will be there. I gave you the second chance. This is you. I'm proud of you, Papa. 
Move on. So I come home, I want to start a fresh life. I want to come home and motivate young kids in the streets to give them something that we didn't have. So I got a job at the gym. I worked seven days a week, cleaning up the machine, putting the waste bag. It is a lonely path to greatness, and sometimes it's only going to be you. Because only you believe what you see. And I'm in the gym working out, doing some boxing technique. So one kid sees me, and he said, yo, can you teach me that move? I have never done a class in my life. But the kids sparked something inside of me, because I could see the passion in their eyes. All of a sudden, one class turned into two, two into four. Ever since then, I never looked back. Today, we're going to go harder than ever. All right? So we're going to warm up. 20, 20 burpees. I got almost 300 kids that went to college that changed their life. I put that work in each and every day while everybody else sleep, tossing and turning. 5 a.m. we grinding. Late night we grinding. NBO, no days off is for people that want something in life. People that are destined for greatness. It's my story. I'm telling the youth today. Pain that I went through, you won't have to go through it. something deep in your heart that will make you change.